On this week's MetPy Monday, I'm gonna show you how to make this map using nighttime shading, which is a new feature of CartaPy 0.17. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. This week, I want to show you one of the new features of Cartapi 0.17, which was very recently released. We'll probably talk about some of the other new features, though a lot of them are useful, but maybe not that exciting to demonstrate, like new projections. We'll also do a speed comparison of some of the new reprojection work that's been done in 0.17 on a future MetPy Monday, and see if that can help us speed up things like remapping satellite data, for example. But if you want to know what all is new in Cartapi 0.17, go to the Cartapi documentation page, and on the right side, there is always a What's New link. And if you click that, you see the release notes, which are significant. Cartapi does a very good job of writing good detailed release notes with examples. As you can see as part of the notes, Proj version five is now supported. There's some night shading, which is what we're gonna look at today. There's some exciting things with Fiona, if you deal with shape files a lot, lots of good content in here. But let's go ahead and fire up a notebook and make a night shading map. I can imagine a night shading map being really useful for things like field projects, or if you're interested in uh, polar orbiting satellites and want to plot their track and see when they're in day and when they're in night, things like that. So let's go ahead and put all of our imports in the first block here. We're going to need date time because we're going to need to pass a date time object to nightshade features. So from date time, import date time. We're going to be using matplotlib, of course. We're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We're going to need the Cartapi coordinate reference system. We're going to import cartapi.crs as ccrs. And then we need the new nightshade feature. So from cartapi.feature. Nightshade, import nightshade. And lastly, don't forget your matplotlib magic so that our plots show up in line in the notebook. The first step to making a figure, of course, is to make a figure object. So fig equals plot.figure. In this case, I'm going to make a fig size of 10 by five. Remember that's gonna be in whatever your default units are, which you can change in your matplotlibrc file. In my case, they're units. And that also depends on the right DPI being selected. So it's not quite gonna be 10 by five inches on this monitor. Next, we'll create an axis. So fig.add subplot. One row, one column, first plot. Then we need to specify a projection. You can specify your very favorite projection here. We'll start out with a very boring projection, which is none, plat -curie. So Cartapi coordinate reference system dot plat -curie. Okay, so let's make a minimal example here. I'm gonna put the stock image on. It's relatively low resolution, but it'll make this demo look pretty nice. And then we're going to add a feature, which is going to be nightshade. If we look at the defaults for nightshade, we don't have to give it anything and it will by default make a map for right now. And it's got some default alphas and things like that. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Okay. So that doesn't look too bad, and as we expect right now from looking outside, we're pretty close to getting dark here in Colorado. But let's change this for maybe a different time and add a title. 
and this is maybe a little too dark or too light for your preference, so we can change the alpha. So here's where importing date time is going to come in. So I'm going to make a valid time of date time. We will go with 2018, 12, 4, and let's do it at 5 UTC this time. So we pass that to Nightshade. And we see now at 5 UTC, we're totally in the dark here. Can also change things like the alpha property. If I set that to 0 0.2, see now it's a little bit lighter. The default is 0 0.5 or half transparent. If you wanted to make it darker, you could maybe set to 0 0.7 and get much darker. Or of course you could set an alpha of one and make it totally black. Though that's maybe not the most useful setting. Let's go back to something like 0 0.75. I kind of like the, the look of that. That's a pretty nice looking map. Also, don't forget, we can change our projection. So we can go with what anyone's favorite projection is. If you're not that into maps, maybe Mercator is your projection. So there is a Mercator projection, not a particularly beautiful site. Uh, we could also go with a Robinson projection, which ought to look pretty decent. So there you go, now you've got a Robinson projection, the last thing that we'll do is add a title that says when this is valid. So I'm going to axe.setTitle valid. We'll call dot format and give it our valid time. And last, we'll change the projection one more time to one of the new ones, equidistant conic. So this is new in 0 0.17. We run that, and now we have our equidistant conic projection with the valid timestamp at the top. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.